please subscribe to our channel, Pacific Front Untold, and be sure to leave a comment after watching a video. World War II, a global conflict that reshaped the world, was not only a testament to human resilience and the quest for freedom, but also a crucible for technological and strategic military innovations. Amidst the backdrop of this devastating conflict, the ingenuity of nations was put to the test, leading to the development of weapons that would forever alter the landscape of warfare. This narrative delves into the intricacies of three such innovations. The German Flak 88mm anti-aircraft gun, the V-1 rocket, the first of its kind cruise missile, and the Type 93 flamethrower, a symbol of the ferocity of close quarters combat. Each of these weapons symbolizes a leap forward in military technology, reflecting the intense pressure of wartime demands and the human capacity for innovation in the face of adversity. Their stories are not just tales of technological triumph, but also stark reminders of the war's profound human toll. This introduction sets the stage for a deeper understanding of how these weapons came to be, their influence on the course of World War II, and their lasting legacy on the art and ethics of warfare. The German Fleck 88mm Originally designed as an anti-aircraft cannon, the Flak 88mm quickly gained a reputation for its versatility on the battlefield. Allied forces feared it for its ability to destroy tanks, aircraft, and infantry with equal effectiveness. Its high muzzle velocity and accuracy made it a formidable defense weapon against Allied armored assaults. During the D-Day landings and subsequent Battle of Normandy, the Flak 88 was used to defend against the Allied invasion. It was also employed in an anti-tank role, where it was one of the few German weapons capable of dealing effectively with Allied tanks such as the Sherman and the Churchill. V-1 Rocket Known as the Vergeltonswaffe 1, this early cruise missile was a terror weapon used by Germany, primarily against London and other targets in England. The psychological impact of the V-1's distinctive buzzing sound, followed by silence before impact, caused widespread fear. Despite its inaccuracy, the sheer number of these weapons launched inflicted significant casualties and damage. The use of the V-1 began on June 13, 1944, shortly after the D-Day landings, marking a new phase in the war against Britain which Germany called Operation Eisbär, or Polar Bear. The launch sites were located in occupied France and the Low Countries, allowing the Germans to target England's southeast and London, which was the primary target due to its political and economic significance. The V-1 attacks continued until March 1945, when the last V-1 was launched against Britain. Over this period, thousands of V-1s were fired. The attacks caused significant casualties and damage, but ultimately did not achieve the strategic impact the Germans had hoped for. The British developed countermeasures, including anti-aircraft guns, barrage balloons, and night fighters equipped with radar to intercept and destroy the V-1s before they could reach their targets. In addition to its use against Allied cities, the V-1 was also used on the Western Front to target advancing Allied forces following the D-Day invasion, although its effectiveness in this role was limited compared to its psychological and material impact on civilian targets. Type 93 Flamethrower Although the U.S. Marines famously used flamethrowers in World War II, the Imperial Japanese Army also used flamethrowers during the war. Flamethrowers were part of the diverse arsenal employed by Japanese forces in various theaters of the war, especially in the Pacific. The Type 93 was characterized by its portability and effectiveness in dense jungle warfare, 
where traditional firearms were sometimes less effective due to visibility and range limitations. It consisted of a fuel tank, a propellant tank, usually compressed air or nitrogen, and a wand with a nozzle to direct the flame. The fuel was typically a flammable liquid, such as a mixture of gasoline and oil, which was ignited as it was expelled, creating a stream of fire. One notable instance of the flamethrower was during the Battle of Bataan, which was marked by brutal combat conditions, with both sides facing extreme challenges. The Type 93 flamethrower, used by the Imperial Japanese Army, was a portable flamethrower designed for infantry use. It would have been used to clear enemy fortifications, bunkers, and dense jungle positions, providing a psychological and tactical advantage in close quarters combat. The use of such weapons would align with Japanese military tactics of employing a range of equipment and strategies to overcome enemy defenses. The use of flamethrowers by the Japanese would have been part of their effort to break the strong defensive positions held by the combined Filipino and American forces. The battle ended in a Japanese victory, but at a high cost to both the defenders and the attackers, leading to the subsequent Bataan Death March, one of the war's most harrowing events for POWs. Another significant example was in the battles of Peliliu and Okinawa, where Japanese troops used flamethrowers in a similar manner. These battles involved fierce close-quarters combat, with flamethrowers being used to try to flush out or incinerate enemy soldiers from their positions. The use of flamethrowers reflects the intense and desperate nature of the Pacific War where both sides sought to overcome the challenges of fighting in the difficult terrain and against deeply entrenched opponents. The Second World War was not only a clash of nations, but also a battleground of technological ingenuity and strategic innovation. The weapons detailed here, the German Flak 88mm, the V-1 rocket, and the Type 93 flamethrower, serve as a testament to the relentless pursuit of military advantage through technological advancement. Each weapon, with its unique capabilities and strategic deployment, played a pivotal role in shaping the course of battles and, by extension, the war itself. From the Flak 88's unmatched versatility on the battlefield to the psychological terror induced by the V-1 rockets, and the intense close-quarters combat facilitated by the Type 93 flamethrower, these weapons exemplified the era's cutting-edge military technology. Their impact went beyond the immediate tactical advantages they provided, influencing the development of post-war defense strategies and changing the nature of modern warfare. The use of these weapons highlighted the importance of innovation, adaptability, and the strategic foresight in military conflict. It also underscored the grim reality of war, where technological advancements often come with a high human cost, as seen in the devastating effects of these weapons on both soldiers and civilians alike. As we reflect on the technological advancements and strategic innovations of World War II, it is crucial to remember the lessons learned and the human costs incurred. The legacy of these weapons serves as a reminder of the importance of striving for peace and the need to manage the technological progress with caution and responsibility. In doing so, we honor the memory of those who lived through the horrors of war and reaffirm our commitment to preventing such conflicts in the future.